All right. So I think the audio should be working all right now. So let me test that one more time before I go into this. All right, let's do this. So. That's it. This is my last village, and it's a little bit big. Uh, it's about 3,500 tiles, and it's got a lot of stuff to it. Oh no, I should have started with this loaded in. Oh no. This is my last village. And uh, like I was mentioning, it's a little big. It's got, you know, town plaza, a blacksmith area, woodworking area, storage, farms, churches, houses, great halls, cooking areas. It's got pretty much everything you could want in a town. And it's about 3,500 tiles. And we're going to do this in 50. So we're going to have all that stuff in just 50 tiles. Please don't do that. Please don't crash. So to do that, we're going to be playing on the hardest difficulty. Uh, not custom yet. That'll be for our next job. We're going to be playing a sort of custom scenario called the Holy Site. With three settlers, some sturdy gear, and one cow. On a small valley map. Random seed. We're going to do a few things to this starting... The starting villagers, right? One. This person's going to be our botanist. A little bit of an OP perk, but green thumb is great, and we're gonna knock their botany up. Sure, they can have this other stuff. Arcs went up. Uh, and then our second villager is going to be decent at research. Actually, they were pretty suited for that before. Here, that'll be fine. And then last villager is going to be good with animals. This one's really important, deck. Well, as... Construction. That should be fine. Just double check. Animals, botany, research. Alright, we're good. Alright. So this really, this uh, has a sort of a number of challenges. Also, if I could just get a uh, a message in the chat just letting me know that audio sounds okay you can hear the actual game clicks and all that stuff plus obviously my voice that'd be great tried to set everything up and i think it should be working but you never know technology be like that Sweet, thank you. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Had to put a message out. 
this is where we start. So the first thing is that we need to choose where we're actually going to start. For that, I need trees and I need hay. The more trees, the better. And then hay, I want at least like three-ish plants. Ooh, see, this area could be good. Close to the edge of the map. Let's see. We're gonna go here. So, I'm just gonna set things up a little bit. I'm gonna use dev tools to sort of do this properly because I don't want any extra resources. I'm gonna do five tiles wide. One, two, five. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. That's 50 tiles, right? Okay, so now that's good. Now I need to turn on auto construction real quick. Put in a wicker gate. Put in a pen marker. That's just so it can count as a pen. And then equip things. Oh shit. Uh, well, that's really unfortunate. Forgot to give them all marksman skill. I was gonna give everyone marksman skill of 10. Um, let's see. Uh, we're, everyone needs a marksman skill of 10 for the actual weapons I gave them. Uh, sure, so Theron asks, can I prioritize, run what through uh, what I'm prioritizing during character creation, which is ironic given what I'm doing now because I clearly forgot to do what I actually said I was going to do. And unfortunately, this is just the only way to really set up the scenario. Um, so basically, I need food. That's going to be the hardest thing for me to survive, and the only really way to get food on such a small area is with bees. So I need to basically be able to rush to Skeps to actually get food to survive. Uh, and so we have one villager good at research, one is good at construction, which we needed for the research itself, as well as animal handling for the bees. And then lastly, one botany, because we're going to be very limited on, uh, on what we've got there. Uh, someone asked where I'm from. I'm from California. Not sure if it shows in the accent, but... Uh, Alright. Go. And we're roping the animal over. So these other two. Move up this way. So now everyone should go over to our little island. And there we go. Now using auto construct again, we delete this. This. Find things out. Now we're set up. So this is gonna be where we spend the rest of the game. Just this, and then I need to turn off. Back. I'm gonna turn off the sort of cheats, and we're good. Now everything's properly set up, and we'll get to it. So, first we need to set up jobs, and specifically, only this person does trees or anything like that. The reason for that is that they just get more wood, and considering how uh, low on wood we are, that's going to be really important. Oh shoot, do I only have two saplings here? Looks like I only have a couple of saplings here. Right. Like I said, we're going to be really rushing the bench, or the research. That in there, actually. Put that. Right there. And anyone can build only quadra cost do research 
And what's the last thing I need to set up? Animal husband. Alright. We're also gonna need a couple beds. get started on just a lot of research. Alright. I do have something planned. Three, four, five, six. Quicker floor up there. We have lots of sticks. So I'm not too worried about that. And that should get rid of this research speed debuff. There we go. A little bit faster. Next, unfortunately, we brought a cow with us, but they are not long for this world. Campfire, however, is. Game should all have the same. Is this going? Uh. Yeah, we only have two saplings. Actually, that's really bad. But it's workable. And unfortunately, oh, we need a carcass. Um, goodbye, goodbye, Bella. We're gonna miss you. Um. need that meat, right? There's no way we survive on just this meat. Oh, fuck. And they eat raw food. Oh, god. I mean, I'm glad the chaos that normally goes into these runs is here. This, this is only, like, meat at all. That's just not gonna work. Um. Do so you know how I said that we're only- we're never leaving again? Gonna make one tiny exception. To go actually grab the grab the grab the meat. Never made a mistake, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. Alright. So that meat's basically all we've got. Um, once that's out, we are out of food, and everyone will starve. And now, we're sort of in a waiting game. I'm gonna kick it up to uh, max speed. Basically, we're waiting until we actually have something to do. And that's just gonna take a bit. So, unfortunately, this is uh, going to be part of it. It will pick up in a little bit, but right now, there's just a little bit of a waiting game through the early, or waiting through the early game. Let's see, how much wood do I have? I guess I can get rid of this. 
Oh, and I obviously will be uh, adding something back so that raiders can get to us when they start arriving. Oh. Let's see. It's gonna be like... No, actually, this is gonna. No, actually, yeah. this can't go on that. Can it? Actually, can. No, it can't. Happy Sunday, indeed. Oh, I actually didn't have a computer for most of the week, or I did, but uh, I was getting a new one. And very glad to have it. So hopefully everything looks nice and crisp. I'm actually now able to... Oh, I forgot to record. Oh no, I meant to record this simultaneously. Well, I'm glad I saw that and started talking about recording. This is great. We're doing great. Right? Uh, we need to wait for this to actually be... We are very limited on hay. Architecture, and we are going to go ahead and just put that in. Obviously, I'm only used to recording before, so I forgot to actually turn on the start the booth buttons, but it'll work fine. Next, we want to start moving. Well, I guess we have plenty. Let's see. Fun. How's everyone's Sunday doing? Basically, we just plant the trees that we have. God, the way they move up keeps confusing me. I keep thinking they've somehow gotten out. We're basically just going to grow these trees up for as long as we can. Oh yeah, in addition to... Actually, we only have a few days left. Uh, uh, before our meat rots, which is another issue. Because we're not going underground. Um, we're going to... Game, please! Isn't there... Oh. Alright, you know what? We're not going out for that one. Search, books, crop. Oh, nice. I was going to go visit my parents, and then my dad got COVID, so uh, here we are instead. Alright, there we go. Gonna have to keep an eye on this. We're basically just gonna cook everything we can at the last day. Gonna be a little bit of waiting for me. I have to be entertaining on my own? This is, like, I script for this. So essentially our next goal is going to be to get Research 2 unlocked, and then get enough books for beekeeping. Because beekeeping is how we're going to get food in the long term.
I guess what we can do is greater injury. Yeah, they, yeah, my, my dad's all, or my parents are all vaccinated. My dad got it like two weeks ago and then he tested negative, but, uh, it unfortunately looks like it came back. And we're going to build a door here and then we're just going to lock that door so that they actually stay on the island. So our end game goal, uh, for those that are just tuning in, is pretty ambitious for this project. So basically I want to turn everything my last village had, which was about 3,500 tiles worth, into, or on this singular island. Let's go ahead and, okay. Lock you. Now no one can eat. Uh, I think it should be possible, although just barely. Get one day left. Actually, I should be... Expand. Maybe that'll keep it a little- yeah, okay, that'll keep it a little bit longer. Which I think we're gonna need. This roasted meat is just taunting me now. Alright, research is available, but nothing that I want or need. We're basically just going to wait until we have B. I'm going to need four spaces. A for books. Oh, two got spawned out here. Those books will eventually decay. Oh shit, are we gonna make all of our books here? Oh, okay, good. And there's a free pile next to them, and they will spawn it there. Uh, no, I don't stream on Twitch. I could, but it just made more sense to me to stream on YouTube since uh, I'm doing YouTube, so. I figure this might help grow the channel some compared to Twitch, where I'm basically just gonna. I don't have like any real. Like, I have a Twitter for this, for Just Don't Die, but I have like three followers. Uh, and I'm just not really active on there. But I wouldn't really have a way to actually get viewers over to Twitch or to grow on Twitch and then get the viewers over to YouTube. So it just made more sense to me to start on YouTube. Until Twitch offers me a $3 million deal, of course, which is uh, probably just around the corner. These trees are going to take, we're basically going to get one harvest mid-summer, and then we might be able to get one more mid-winter. Other than that, that's sort of all the wood we're going to have. Which is unfortunate, because I need a lot more. Actually, let's see. Three more. I need 18 more books. 17 now. Oh, that's. Wait, is that what's happening here? Because I thought I had the right number. 
which is three. But I wonder if because they don't have access to these, it doesn't count anymore. I'm actually just gonna... I'm not gonna do anything with it, but let's see. Give that an update? Yeah. Now I need 12 more? Yeah, that's interesting. So basically what's happening is because I don't have access to the actual... Uh, to these books, the game isn't considering me as having them. But, oh well. Oh. They're sort of sleeping in the rain. Which is unfortunate, but that's just a sacrifice you have to make. Oh, it's cold enough outside that the that they're sleeping in, obviously, that the meat is not rotting at all. So, yay. We are over halfway through our meat, though. I didn't calculate this out, so I really hope that we're good here. Oh, we're so low on space. Oh, we're... Alright, um... We don't have that much wood. Like, at all. I don't even have enough wood for... A second tier- a two second tier research bench. What I'm gonna have to do is finish using this bench, get these books, and then once I have enough, deconstruct it, build a second research bench in, unlock beekeeping, deconstruct the second research bench, to put in some bees. Or the trader that should be arriving, because I think one always arrives on day four, will uh, bring me some wood. But I doubt that. Need get yeah, more books. And all this is uh, I actually modded the game to make this not five times, but I think fifteen times. And uh, it's still obviously a lot of waiting that uh, I would normally cut out, but a little bit hard to cut it out live. This is another two days. So we should be good for a while. Um, let's see, no, so, so the, uh, I can't deconstruct these wood walls because the beam itself that's supporting all of this would, would die. Technically, I shouldn't have built this wooden door yet, but, uh, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna deconstruct that. What I might do is... Oh, I could get rid of the stairs. Okay, there's the merchant. Now what I'm gonna do is keep this open. And these two are just gonna get drafted. So that they don't run anywhere. Please come trade with us. We're, v we're very peaceful people. Mr. Merchant, please come here. Mr. Warren, our base. Yeah, I think I had 80 before, so I wasn't worried, and then I built the door without thinking about it, and now I don't have enough. Oh, no. Not doing that. Uh, so now I deconstruct this. Oh, wait. No. It's just up. Please stop trying to leave. We are all happy here. This is not a place you want to leave, right? Merchant's almost here. No. No. So now we have 108 wood. It is going to be enough. Search table. Please stop. Let's 
Stop trying to run away, Quadrifast. <laughs> Alright, and we're good. Do I have anyone with good speechcraft? I actually should have... Unironically, speech would be a very good skill here. I'm gonna need to get a lot of resources from it. Okay. They have a dog. Ale, barley. Barley's really good. I'm gonna buy all their barley. Barley is food and barley is hay. Oh, and they have cabbage seeds and too. Um No wood. I could buy a wolf from Domestic not trained though, so it's not worth it. If we're trained, I might consider it. But honestly, we have so much idle time that I'm not really... Yeah, no wood is unfortunate. I'm just gonna sell, honestly, all of our leather. I guess we will get... Ale, just to make people happy, but not really. I actually would not mind... Like, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get stuff for this, but I don't really care about it. Um, I just need the space. Let's see, I'll get some beet seeds as well. Ale. Wanna buy anything else here? It's unfortunate they didn't bring wood, although I'm not even sure they can. They can bring us apple saplings, which we can grow like regular trees. That's true. Actually, that's a really good point. Yeah, okay, that's right. Thank you for that, because otherwise I uh, probably would have made that mistake. So let's see. So all of the tallow to make room. Long term, it won't be a big deal to sell stuff, because we can make books, which sell really well. And so let's see, I'm buying ale, which I care about, barley, which I care about, beet seeds are good. Selling leather and that's good. Okay. Unfortunately, we now, we now need to get Warren out of here. Because otherwise, yeah, people just try to leave. Why do they want to leave so bad? I don't get it. Our town's perfect. And if I try, if I lock the door now, the, he won't be able to get out. Actually, what I can do is that was actually a really good time. Lock. There we go. Now we're trapped back inside. Let's plant some beets. God, we're running into space issues already. Um, let's see. I have plenty of sticks still, but actually... Yeah, now this place can get sticks, so we're gonna make some sticks here. All that barley. Move the research table over. Is going to require moving more stuff. Oh, 
We, okay, there's this first rotting meat. It's fine. The rest of it has a day. this. Over. So low on storage space though. This whole mode is basically just constantly juggling resources. So let's see. You can get oh it's here. Beats will go in. And we're good. Our tiny little garden over here. So you will actually note that I'm playing on the development build. I'm not sure how clearly it shows up on stream, but there's that little text on the right. And there will occasionally be like bug reports and stuff like that over here. Um, and the reason for that is for this landscaping, you can now build in soil. So eventually I'll be able to turn this ground here into soil there. It'll be nice. Oh, this is... Roasted meat's going outside. Okay, there's that. Now I think we should be good for a little bit. So we are close to unlocking beekeeping. Actually, it would. More than I thought we had. What can I do with 28 wood? I'm definitely going to go back down to the level 1 research bin. How many skeps can I put up? Hmm. Each skep is 15 wood? Or 15? Yeah, 15 wood. So that's only enough for one, which I don't think is going to support. I think we need like at least two or three. Lost more. Okay, yeah. So we're going to deconstruct you. Put a basic research bench back in. We're just juggling over here. Because obviously a lot of technology is just we're gonna need eventually, but aren't useful to us now. Like, what are, where are we gonna what are we gonna make with wooden weaponry? I'm annoyed. Oh. Not starving them. Just encouraging fasting. Nope. Okay, be keeping. Let's get some skeps in. Do I really only have 16 wood? I thought I would have more. I guess... Oh, that's rough. 
when you deconstruct something, you get 60% uh, back. So I guess we got 48 from deconstructing the large research bench, which gave us... No, I'm doing the math wrong there, but we did not get as many as I thought. We're definitely going to be really tight on wood. These first trees are done next season. Today, so we're gonna make one more thing with our meat. Set up jobs. Yes, so. Although, the beeswax is actually gonna be really annoying. It's basically just gonna take space. Uh, so yeah, I am going to be encountering raiders, and I am going to need a wooden merlon. But uh, we, we, we'll get to that problem when we get to that problem. So now, this skep will be making honey forever. And basically this just will take, I think, like three in-game days, something like that, to actually spit out honey. Once it does, we'll have enough for a little bit more food, but not too, too. Yeah, we just don't have the wood. I may have to just do this until I'm, uh, like, what What are my next technologies realistically? I don't care about these. Not gonna use cartography. Smelting, don't care about. Defensive structures, don't care about. Neither of those. Furniture would be nice, but I need wood to use it, so it's not realistic. Landscaping, I'm not gonna do that until I have a, lot, few, or a few more stories at least. So I think that realistically, research is not going to be a priority for So as soon as I need to, I'm going to deconstruct. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do it. I believe the term is YOLO. So this does open up the possibility to get more wood through basically building a woodworking bench and breaking down any wood in your First, let's induct Agnes into the village. Hello. I don't think Agnes is a... I can't rename village. I forget how. I thought you could rename villagers. Maybe I'm wrong? Oh wow, she's got erudite, green thumb, and iron stomach. Well, iron stomach isn't bad, isn't important, but erudite, green thumb are great. No weapons for. Good miner, decent researcher. Nothing really important for us. Take the food. 
like, I could take this to seed, but it's just realistically not gonna do that for me. Oh, the raw, the raw meat, uh, rotted. What's important? down let's see when it's I mean yeah it's just not gonna be a, a useful tree for a very long time. 11 or uh, 11 days it's almost a young but that's only five wood so I don't think that's worth it starting to actually get a little bit long sticks. When raiders come, we will just deconstruct this and build a single more wooden or like two wooden more lawns through whatever direction they're coming. And that's our plan. Personally, I don't see any way it could possibly ever go wrong. Oh, you can't. Uh, perfect. There we go. Now she's a proper member of the village. Let's see. How's this? Yeah, this is only a third of the way. I should have made note of when this started. I didn't see when we actually started this. Let's see. How much food do I have? Oh, I have like none. So they do have roasted meat in their, in their pouches, so we basically got one more day's worth of food. I think it might be time to, uh... To get rid of this. That wood. For more skeps, and then we have. Oh shit. Um. Wait. I get the the wood back, right? Wait. You don't get the wood back from canceling like that? Oh, that's really awkward. Ah, uh, that's really awkward. I thought I would get 15 wood back, which was enough for a wooden merlon. Uh, let's think. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. You're currently young, first off. Something stockpile is now. How many of them are there? 
Oh, actually, there's only one archer. Okay, I think the big issue here is that I'm not sure we can actually kill everyone. In All right, let's do this. Oh, hey, these are the people who traded with us. Wait, they left. Wait, did I, I miss that? I missed that. Hold on. I'm actually pulling up the current mod. For my own stream. Because I think they just... Sometimes, it, like, they, they'll leave without doing anything. Yeah, they, uh... They did an attack. Alright, now the problem is... That we're out of food. Or we're out of wood. So we actually can't do anything for, like, a really long time. But it's not like I'm even close to having enough. So we're basically waiting for a trader to give us wood. Or... I mean, yeah, that's really it. We can have food time. They still have the rest of me in their inventory. I'm not gonna eat that till basically like mid tomorrow. I think we're just barely gonna make it for food. We're actually gonna go on a little bit of a fast. So I forget if I mentioned this, but basically my sort of uh, idea for the like the lore or whatever I'm gonna put into the story is that this is a sort of holy site <laughs> that uh, I made everyone a oak brethren. So obviously this is an oak brethren holy site in the middle of nowhere, uh, and so you know if it comes down to it, uh, you know we will turn the cannibals. I think we're gonna be okay with just the honey. I think that two skeps should be enough. Because this 45 honey is influenced by... Or even if it's butchering yield or... Uh, uh, it's animal or animal harvest yield or something, but uh... We're not gonna... We're gonna get more than 45 honey. So I think that we're gonna have enough from there to have food. But yeah, unfortunately, it is just going to be a while, a little bit of wait. By a little bit, I sort of mean a while. Uh, and sort of speed that up. Oh, they're starving. Um, that's fine. Just sleep. You can't be hungry if you're asleep. As long as their moods don't get too bad, I'm going to keep this up until the honey's ready. Actually... Yeah, so it's like... Looks like it's about... Like 1.5% per hour, so about 30-40% to 40 per day. This is basically two and a half days. Let's we'll see how much honey I actually get from it. But once we have enough, I might even go down to uh, only one skip to get some wood back. I can go ahead and eat. Obviously, as you know, as proud oak brethren, we would never starve ourselves because we're out of food. That's just not a thing that would happen. Why are they still sleeping? 
Oh, they've already eaten. Oh, that they've um Anyone have food? No, they all ate. All right. Edit. Uh. All right. Now someone should be able to cook. Yeah, 50 honey. So basically we get 50 honey per these for every like three-ish days, let's say. So 100 honey per three days is enough. That's like enough to feed everyone. Why is no one cooking? Alright, everyone can eat. So we basically do need two of these, right? 100 food is uh, 16 meals. Which is basically now enough for four days, and we get that every four days. So, I kind of need wood for everything. Like, in this case, I need it for a research bench. To actually continuing researching technologies. I need it to build upwards. To even, like, uh... To grow bigger, to have more space. And so, unfortunately, it's just sort of the biggest... It's always the biggest gatekeeper in the early game. But, you know, normally you would just... Wander to cut all these trees. We're about nine days off of our own trees giving us more wood. I think if I were gonna do this again... Oh no, I need more space in this. I think I would not plant these crops, because I don't think that we're actually gonna need them. Uh, I think I would basically just keep to one story for now. I wanted a second story for Merlans for the height advantage in case of a raid, but obviously they just decided not to do that, so we're good. How are they not entertained? They have each other. Uh, I'm not gonna be a command for eternity, although I really should have picked an area with more saplings. I thought that the three trees over here, which were just dead, were, were uh, like proper trees that would give us saplings. Um, because you can buy saplings from, especially I think apple saplings, I'm not sure on others from traders. But we would be waiting a while. Oh, that's tough. I kind of want to cheat and just go grab some extra trees, but I'm not going to. Basically represent the three trees that I thought that I was getting saplings for. Let's see. There's nothing I can do here. I'm saying everything here. Ah, Rebellion. It's fine. Rebellions don't really matter when there's nothing to do but idle. I'd plan to grow barley or to grow beer with it to help, but one of the things I thought you could do until I was actually doing research for this literally right beforehand was I thought that you could. Uh, let's see where is it. Botany. If you get, I thought that if you got this skill up to a high enough amount, this reaping amount or this harvest amount, reap a, reaping amount or harvest amount, I thought that if you cut down a tree, you got two saplings. So I thought when I was planning this that I would basically be able to just sort of, sort of cheese it by cutting down trees, and then just uh, getting two saplings, planting them, cutting them down, getting four saplings. What I might do is just spawn a spawn a proper merchant. Just to speed things up, because we are literally just gonna be waiting. We have these guys which give us enough honey to live for basically forever. Um and it's just literally a matter of waiting. Alright, definitely gonna have enough. I've yeah, still got ten honey left, more food.
All right. Um. We'll do. Oh. Wow! Look at that. Wait. Wait. Why didn't it work? Oh man, I got so excited to to fake being excited. Game. Game. Look at that! A merchant arrived. Oh uh, yeah, basically just because we would be just basically waiting for a, a very long time and otherwise. Default. No, but are they actually going to arrive? Okay, yeah, they are coming. Oh no. I can't stop the rebellion. Rykos, please. Rykos, please. Get back inside. You're embarrassing me. Alright, thank god. She listened. She stopped listening. Is barter? Is barter? All right. I could uh buy a donkey, which the first time I saw this, I was not expecting it, and I just had a good laugh. Doesn't look like. Need to put all of our stuff on stockpile. Fast. Butter. Okay. We're buying saplings for wood. We're going to sell all of the beeswax. All of the leather. That was a good amount of the hat. That gives us not as much as I. Th oh wait, we already bought the sapphix. Wow, those are expensive. And then we can buy stick trap is good for sticks. Oh, we can't afford it. I was hoping we'd be able to buy like a basic research table and then just basically put it in. We just literally cannot afford anywhere near. Less. Yeah, actually, we're just going to do this. We're just going to sell a lot of books. Um, We're going to go into research debt here. That is completely fine. Do not care about that. In fact, I will sell more if I can, but I'm not going to afford the cartography table. There's nothing else here I'd want. I could sell textbooks, but... What else would I buy here? But like the where is it? I only have ten of these, so even so this is hundred and sixty, let's see. Hundred and sixty, this is three hundred and forty. Yeah, so if I did everything, I'm still not gonna have I'm gonna be a little bit off. Right? Oh, it's so close though. Is there anything else I can sell? Honey crisps. Sticks. I'll just sell honey. Good call, good call. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, that's actually a good point, but I think I'm gonna do this. The cartography table is like. 80 or 90 wood, I think. So that's like another 50 wood in my pocket, which... This is a lot of books, but we have time. Wood is the limiting factor in. I'm gonna prioritize that. 
We're selling basically everything we own. Good there, Ferno. Hope your uh, Sunday's going well. Back here. Okay. So, cartography table. We even have space to install that. Research table goes back in where it should. Apple saplings. Be right there. back inside, right? Alright, there we go. Do not get as many as much wood from the value did. I'm not going to be harvesting the apple tree. The Normally I would be worried about that, but I'm just not going to be harvesting these. I'm just going to keep doing this. Basically, this gets me wood per day, which is, I think, more important right now. Oh. That's unfortunate timing. Side. This is a little bit, uh, fortunately a little bit more sort of spotty than I want. I was hoping that this wouldn't be so janky, but it is being very janky. Which, I mean, to be fair, this game is not expecting you to do, so. It'd be really nice if, uh... I think RimWorld has like assigned areas, so you can literally force people to never leave an area. Plant these. Seeds. Sapling. Oh. in. Nope, do not attack the merchant. Table. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that was if you would. Please stop. Oh, wait, is that? Trader's still here. Oh my god, this is this is kind of annoying. I can't lock the door to keep them out because the trader's still here. Why? You should be trying to grow these apple saplings. I don't get why they're not. I mean, am I just not? Am I just missing something? Yeah, that is a little bit more jank than I've been hoping for. Yeah, we have, right? We have the apple saplings here. Apple saplings. Apple trees. 
Not set to do not set. Alright, so that gives us 60 wood. So how are we using our 60 wood? I think we have to save it for wooden weapon. Which actually, I should be researching this. So let's see. We want wooden weaponry. Well, actually, I was going to say that we could kill raiders and break down their gear, but they're not going to die inside our base. So we couldn't actually go get the gear to break it down. So I could uh, go underground, but I actually did a challenge like this originally, and, or a while ago. It was actually one of my first uh, larger videos on the channel. And why are they starving? I have enough food. Um, and basically just going underground made it really, really easy. Might end up doing that just because we're having to wait longer than I thought and wanted. We'll see though. I might just go underground to get the dirt for actual building materials and then just go up from there. That'd probably work pretty well. Because once I have more space, I have more options. Like for example, if I have lots of space, I can turn this first floor into a kill box and then avoid that issue. Yeah, let's look for that. But we are going to need to clear this research debt and then unlock landscaping. First. Like, if you go underground, there's just so many, so much opportunity and so many options. <laughs> I I come from the RuneScape community, and if you've never seen old school RuneScapers giving themselves a challenge, it is absolutely insane. Uh, that community of YouTubers who are super great, really entertaining, are just different. They're just built different. Alright. Come on, Mr. Skip. I think I... Uh, oh, actually, these are almost done, right? I think I will go underground for the building material. I'd always plan to like build to like go da uh, mine out to get dirt. Let's see, so we are you can sh Oh, I hope that I didn't Yeah. Francisca, I think that I am eventually going to actually like let them in before I kill them is eventually 
and like literally have this first floor be the kill box. Hello, how's it going? Hopefully your Sunday is going well. Hopefully you're not trapped on a tiny little island. We're gonna mine down, we have to be really careful here. Because I don't want the dirt going someplace it shouldn't. Let's see, we're gonna move our stumping stockpile to the top floor. to very carefully one at a time find out this space shouldn't matter here so let's see how much dirt do they get we get two dirt oh that's rough we're gonna need to mine out eight spaces to get one ramp down Every, I think it's five dirt. I'm already making good progress on the research debt. I think it's five dirt for a wall, but it's only 15 to get down. See, so yeah, once these beets are gone, beets are done growing, I might just harvest them and then get rid of beets in general and just use this dirt for growing. Oh, that's right. I actually want these to be decaying. Billion. Let's see. How is this gonna? Where are we gonna? Like, what spaces are we mining at? I can mine out, let's see, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I'll just mine out some of these. Oh, nice, that sounds like a, like a good, uh, Sunday. Hopefully your exams go well. Quadricloss is my miner, which is unfortunate that as soon as I need them to do any work, they decide to rebel. Oh, they're also my researcher, huh? In that case, you were pretty good at research. Do you mean these these edge spaces? Or do you mean like the edges of my 50 tiles? Because I didn't want to go for these coins. Just because those aren't those aren't in the fifty tiles, basically. Should I actually be coming up on trees six days. That's going to be halfway through summer. I'm not sure what the delay is like. Okay, yeah. Actually, I guess since I'm only getting two either way, it doesn't really matter. 
It doesn't really matter. I don't need to rush it. I'm waiting for a hundred books anyways. Uh, I am a PhD student. So I'm, a, I'm a graduate student who just sort of does this for fun in my free time. But I don't really do classes anymore. I just do science research. Um, which is very busy, but also has lots of breaks, sort of. So, sort of. Come on, Joe. Like, I actually need to go in later today to do some culture on some uh, cells I'm growing. Skip some sleep track costs. Do a little bit of extra work. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's uh, I don't think for everyone. I think that if I could talk to a younger me, I'm not sure I would recommend it. But this far in, I either have Stockholm syndrome or I just really like it. I can't really tell the difference. Uh, so I am a biomedical sciences major. So I do right now animal research in tumor immunology. So I give mice cancer, and sometimes I learn something from them. That was a very rebellion-inducing cooking. Oh. I need to cut all of these. Oh, actually, this is better. This is mature is eight days for seven wood. This is three days for four wood. Let's go. Oh, wait, I need to. Oh, that's just not fair, game. Game, why would you do this to me? Game, please. Nope, hold on. Guess I will save that for one, just because it teleported out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and this all stay inside. Lock. Yeah, we're 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 gonna. I'm not gonna get for the stakes or anything like that, but. I kind of need that stuff. Let's see. Okay. Oh. I remember biophysics, and yeah, it's... Um, but I'm glad that it's going well. So...
Why aren't they planting this tree? We have a sapling, right? They're very reluctant to plant saplings, and I'm not sure why. the beets are gone we'll clear this space out and then we'll use that space to actually cut down the trees get more wood yeah, that's pretty cool are you is that what your research you're doing in now or is it a, is that what research you're doing now or is that uh sort of for the future as well or just i guess future in general Software engineering is my only experience with it is I tried to learn to code over COVID and I got I did it for like six months and it was kind of fun but it was kind of a pain so uh, I stopped doing it pretty much. Echophysiology. I didn't really do I only took like one or two uh, courses on like ecology and other animal stuff. I did pretty much uh, all in the cell bio but that's super nice. Science is pretty cool. I know I'm a little bit biased, but... Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to really dig this a lot. I'm going to dig all the way down to bed. Oh, sorry, not bedrock, granite, which is very, very different. Not mine. Off, oh, and we're good. <laughs> God, I remember, so I was learning uh, s software engineering, or not, I guess, I was learning coding in the context of game development. And I remember there was this one problem I had that I couldn't figure out for like the life of me for like two like six hours of me just trying to figure out what was wrong. And then I left for like one day, came back and like solved in like eight seconds because it was really obvious. And at that point I knew that maybe, maybe it wasn't for me. All right, there's the first beets harvested. Wow, 13 of them. So this whole thing's gonna give us a lot. Oh, honey's getting spawned outside. We're running into really serious space issues. What are you? Well, I guess space issues are a good thing that a good problem to have in this case. Unfortunately, camera's gonna be a little bit finicky now. Oh, 
couple more. We're actually gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and get only one person. Good cutter is on the end. Let's see, how much wood does this actually give us? Hopefully everything spawns over here. Cool. That's three wood. That's really So now we need to mine out one more space here. Apple tree segments here. So they don't cut you when you're young. Don't harvest, we're good. Our first research is. Oh, we're finally getting some wood. Why would, like, I, I'm ignorant, so why would leafcutter ants going to Europe be so bad? Would they just start deforesting everything and basically be uncontrollable? Alright, now we have 16 dirt. So as soon as I unlock landscaping in another uh, like 30-ish books, I'll be able to actually put stairs in here and start going down and basically be very careful about it, but start mining out all of this stuff. Billions. That makes sense that they just start eating everything. Huh. Are there... I guess actually, I was gonna ask if there are good ways to sort of get rid of them, like with uh, insecticides or something like that, but I guess that would cause a lot of problems too, huh? Go ahead and use... I feel like... You have to like what you're doing for that. Uh, I don't know if it's Theron or Terran, but, uh, and like software engineer, I like the problem solving aspect of it, but not a lot of the rest of it. All right, we're good on food now. We actually have 150 in the bank and more coming in soon. Everyone is rebellious right now. Alright, so it's Theron, am I doing that right? Or, it's not doing that right, saying that right? Oh, that's nice, you got the do you have the rest of the day off for now? Sweet, thanks man. I am, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. And pronouncing things in general. I said Ethernet until I was like 23. And just, I, I pronounced so many words just wrong like that.
Honey's not bad. That's... Isn't that unrealistic? Isn't, like, honey one of those foods that's good forever? I guess that maybe that's only if it's, like, sealed. And our guys have not yet invented microplastic or plastics. As soon as I took Exocost off research, Quadracost started rebelling. A lot of students. Uh, so I'm not the only one that talks to their lab equipment. That's that's actually really good to know. Oh no, the stew's. Oh no, the stew got moved over here. Um. Lock pile for seeds. We're just ca wasting some food that way. Honestly, I kind of want to just mine out way further, but yeah. That's uh, yeah, I feel like digging up all the nests would definitely be a little bit hard. But my only experience with that is living in uh, living in Texas for a couple of years. And and yeah, for now, I definitely I enjoyed college so much more. The freedom was really nice. All right, did we take this guy? Thirty-two mining, Jesus. I mean, we're fine for food now, aren't we? There's no reason not to have. I guess the reason not to have them is that raids will be harder, and we're still very limited. by wood and weapons that we don't have. Sort of our limiter. I may regret this later, but I think we don't take this person. landscaping 20 bucks we've got wood going food's taken care of i might add one more skip just to make sure i have like more than enough but i'm gonna do that once i have more space yeah that's exactly what i'm thinking is that just like the work is not an issue it's actually really interesting that he's a really good miner because i didn't sort of like quadracost is okay but she's also doing research and hexacost is actually decent actually we're gonna have hexacost mine since they all get two no matter what but yeah i just don't need the extra hands around the village Bruno, in that case, you may you may not like GEs in, in college, because it's a lot of the same things, where it's uh, just stuff you don't necessarily care about as much. I came in with a lot of AP credits back in when I was an undergrad, so I didn't have to do too many like GEs, but I still had to do like economics courses and sociology courses and stuff like that. Oh, that's really cool. I get so yeah, honey can't rot. So this is this game is very unrealistic. Zero out of ten. Would never recommend. Oh, settlers are starving. Let's cook some of that food we have.
Uh, GE, well, okay, I don't know what, maybe it's different in your country, actually. Uh, G GEs are general education requirements. So, like, I still have to do writing courses, sociology, economics, stuff like that, even though I'm a science major. Oh, the food's getting teleported out again. Wait, do they... Okay, no, we got some here. Never... Yeah, okay, actually, I am gonna do... Basically, just go out another level. Another way. Oh, wave. And that way, hopefully, stop, stuff stops getting teleported out as much. Oh, that's interesting. In that case, yeah, sounds like you'll have a lot better of a time. Actually, honey is lasting a lot longer than normal foods would, so that's maybe something. Oh, we're so close. And more wood. Always more wood. Oh, so they need a fungus that's, I guess, uh, only present in the rainforest they're currently in. Alright, there's landscaping. Unlock that, which unlocks soil, which we're definitely going to use, and slips, which are also definitely going to use. Actually, if we're building up... I mean, there's no reason not to. Here's the new slope. Beautiful. Although I just realized that I sort of screwed this up by having this here. Because where do I actually dig from here? Oh no, that was really stupid of me. Um. We're actually not going to do anything yet, for a little bit.
All right, so what I'm thinking, sorry, I know I've been quiet, quiet for a while. It's, uh, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. So right now what I'm thinking is how am I actually going to mine this out? Because I do eventually want to come the entire way over and use a beam. But that's going to be really hard because I would need to mine this tile out. Or would I? Uh, if I did... Okay, no, actually, I don't need to mine. Yeah, okay, I, th I think I've got something in mind. God, we're so tight on space right now. That's pretty- that's a really cool symbiotic relationship between the fungus and the ants. Is there a reason the fungus doesn't grow outside of the nest? Is it just because it literally can only survive with the ants feeding it? stop this though. The reason for that is that we need to relocate this to... Relocate it up here. That'll be easy. The big trees only need one more day. The little trees are getting moved. Things are things are looking up for the town. We're at 77 wood. silly cat yeah honestly this the sound in this game is so nice all right let me think so i want to build unfortunately because of how i screwed this up i need to build something like actually no even that won't work this is gonna be this needs a stability of at least two okay so what i need to do is and out this square and this square. God, the space constraints are a little bit wrong. Okay, 
Okay, that should be enough. Okay, fine. Why is there only three dirt here? I should have more dirt than this. I, I thought I should have five, right? Maybe, uh, maybe she botched one of the harvests. Fine. <laughs> I think one was called. I think Quadra cost or. I think Pentecost is like an actual name in the game, and I saw that and just changed all their names as soon as I saw it. so low on space right now. But space should actually be an, not be an issue very soon. And a little bit longer. Someone else is going to mine this. You can mine. Don't screw this up, Tricost. We really need this. Ew, that should be able to need. No! It's one too little. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Alright. Uh. Actually, what I can do is my. What sort of microclimate is that? Is it like a? I don't. I wouldn't even know what it specifically does that is unique to those ants. Oh, oops. Okay. Make sure we're producing. I need to do all right they can progress slowly but surely why are they sleeping at 10 a.m. Now if I mine this out, this should be fine. This wooden wall should stay up with a stability of 3, so the beam uh, self loaded stability of 3, and actually this stuff over here will collect. So let's go ahead and soil here. It's fine. Now, it should be fun. So, I build this. God, I'm so low on space here. I'm actually just gonna put this basic research table over here in the middle of nowhere for a second. Flooring across that.
¿Listo? Oh, God. Camera, please. So. Wait. Only... No, you're not mining. Only good miners mine. And the reason for that is that I need all the dirt I can get. Where's my camp? Okay. If I'm correct... Nice. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, it's a little bit chaotic. So now I need to build a floor over here. Oh shoot, where is this wood gonna go? When I cut these trees down? Oh, we're finding out now. Okay. Please go over here. All right, let's go. It teleported back here. Oh, look at that wood. 112 wood. That's so nice. Okay. Let me get rid of you for right now for a second. Oh, look at all of our wood. 189. Thank you. Okay, we have wood for actual stuff for a while. First thing I want to do, though, is use some of that on another beam. Although I am going to actually have to pause it. I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Okay, so, now, just sort of as, as an update, we've gotten a lot of wood from our plants, and we have the ability to sort of move everything around, and we can start actually mining all this stuff out, which I need basically these beams for, before I do. Because with these beams on the sides, I can now... Basically mine everything out and still have floors at every level. Which is how I'm eventually going to be able to build high and put a, like a sky garden in. Which is what I want for space. Because right now I need to sort of dedicate one part of my uh, area. Oh, actually I should be playing this. Uh, to just producing like crops and plants and things. Okay, let's think. So, what's next? We're gonna do... This. We're gonna do this. Start mining you out. Put in some wicker flooring.
camera does not like this plan. Uh, I think Francisca does like research with ants. We were talking about sort of what we do and she brought that up, which led to a really interesting conversation on uh, what, what she studies and the ants themselves. This is sort of hard to see, but now all of this stuff should be protected by the floor. But I should just be able to mine out all of this area. Once this barley's done, I can do the same thing over here. We're gonna put in more soil right there. Oh, actually, oh, it's going to be too late now. I messed up here. I needed to replant immediately, but I haven't. And so now I think that I'm not going to get another set of the big trees before spring arrives or before winter arrives. Also, move this back into- oh my god. Camera, please, work with me here. Alright, the first bar looks good. Uh, yes, this is on- so I think I have the development build down here which might be visible. Um... Oh. Uh, but yes, I am on that, although I'm not playing with that. I'm just playing with the- with the general, like, max difficulty survival hard mode. Uh, that is tiny, Theron. I think my first school, or like my high school, was like 500 people per grade. Good of you. Yeah, same. I'm. I haven't been teasing it, but I, I definitely can't wait for the run. I think I've decided on what I want to do with the custom customizable difficulty. Animals keep arriving, not realizing that they can't get in. Only devote oak brethren can get in. Okay. So now, yes, yeah, so this is a mistake I made. I want to put in a beam over here as well. I guess I'll do that later. For now, 
now I can actually start building up. Jesus, y'all had tiny class. Oh, tiny compared to my over, very overcrowded classrooms. Let's think. Finding you. So I need stairs to go in in the middle, actually. So we get to the max level. To build another level up. I think that's the main thing. So to do that, we're gonna relocate. Flow goes in here. Slow goes in here. We need a trader to sell all this beeswax too. Wait. Oh, you can build soil over the beeswax. Oh. Okay. person in our class? That's kind of crazy. I literally can't imagine being in a situation like that where that's... Oh my god. Alright. I do a thing here. It's gonna be three, two, one. I'm trying to think how I can get stability here. And the answer is, I think I can't. I need to put- uh, I, I guess I just have to put a- I figured it out. Actually, going for furniture and bookshelves would be nice, or just regular shelves. But I think- I will do that soon. Put in you. Alright. I think that should be good. So um, I'm not saying that I'm unsure, but I am saying, oh, I can't even finish the name, uh, that, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna make a casual save here, uh, before I deconstruct this wooden wall and probably break the village. Uh, <clears throat> um, Everyone, just look at the chat instead of the screen for a little bit. There's, there's a really interesting conversation going on. Um, yeah, yeah, keep looking. Uh, or, I mean, at, at chat, not at the screen of me reloading after a mistake. Um, wow, okay, uh, you can look back whenever you want now. Okay, so I need one more... Soil. 
Honestly, I should do well. Okay, now I can get rid of this for the first time and then put in a beam here. Oh god. Camera, please. Oh. This beam didn't die like it should have. It's kind of funny. Oh, I definitely should have deconstructed this first anyways, because I get some wood back now. Uh, and totally intentional. Now we're making progress. I think we're now in a sort of semi-sustainable area where, let's see. So is that literally just like private tutoring at that point, essentially? Baron? I need to not roof off my growing area. Oh, more rebellions. I think I might need to actually invest wood into some happiness stuff, like a shrine. But I want to build some things first. <laughs> I have wood, and I want to actually expand. Yeah, I literally can't imagine, can't imagine that. My brother's a teacher, and he does not have classes with only a few people in them. Yeah, Quadracost just over here wondering why everyone else can't keep their uh, stuff together. What do I even go for from here? I guess shelves would save me space, but I'm not, I don't have the wood for any of this yet. I say as I unlock wooden weapon. Why are you sleeping at 10 in the morning? Go mine. Literally waking them up to send them to the mines.
Okay, so until... So the issue I'm having right now is that I need to be moving this ramp to somewhere else. And I don't know where I can really put it. Do I actually need it somewhere else? I would... So right now I can't put this beam here like I want, but I actually don't think I need that because this is stability of four, which goes three, two, one. So basically I would lose this space. So yeah, maybe maybe I don't do that. Maybe I just literally ignore that. next one. Oh, I did not think about it. Wait, where did one of my hay beds go? Why did that break? God, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, there's soil there, um, which I shouldn't need anymore. Go ahead and get rid of you. We're gonna pull the trigger on furniture. I just need the storage space. Um. Where do I even put the put it though? All right. I think what I do. I get rid of you. And then dump down here for now. And then I can put in slope up right there. A wooden beam over. Tell if we're doomed or doing okay. Plotter. Okay, sorry, I should be talking more, this is hard. Um, build some extra storage in. You get cut. Oh, where's my other apple sapling? Should have one more, right? Oh, did we botch a harvest? Okay. 
Yeah, I think we botched a harvest. We must have, because I don't know where the fourth apple sapling would have gone. Okay. Let's see. You get mined out. Mind out. And then we're gonna mine this way. No, I can't do that. You get mine. And then we will put the soil in. This is not a good spot for it. This is not where I want it, but this is where it's going to go. Oh, but I need more soil first. A lot more. Um... Okay, this can all get mined in. This can get... Oh! That broke everything. Um... Uh, that- that just ruined the run, actually. Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> uh... Uh, so, uh, uh, anyways... That's a great question, silly cat, that... I'm gonna look at and address well something else. Uh, yeah, so essentially you have to unlock a technology for 45 Chronicles... Early on. And then at that point you can... Uh, put it in like normal. But... I'm messing up because it's hard to tell what's going on. I need a lot more soil to dig down. This is before I moved this dirt up here, so I'm just going to keep that. And yeah, I guess I will... Water in there. And then we'll put a slope a slope ramp in here. This will give me access down to everything else. That's really interesting, yeah. I'm in America and so we don't have any like mandatory religious classes either. Interesting that that's required like that. Okay, there's that. Nope. Oh shit, uh, let's see. 
Where is my... Go ahead and... I mean, look, okay, you know, Hexacost looking kind of fine. So, you know, they're not wrong. One more slope. God, it's so hard to see anything here. Oh, I need paths over. Um. I do this actually really poorly. Because I need to actually leave a path to get over less mining. No more mining today. I might, I might force spawn another trader soon to get more apple saplings because we've now ruined two of the four harvests, uh, which means that we're now at basically half capacity there. Well, are we gonna get the quite the? Uh, I was gonna say quadfecta, but that sounds wrong. But that's almost right. Charles, no, we put down rebellions violently. If I could, I would have Tricos shoot them all dead for their transgressions. It's gonna be a lot of dirt though, which is good because dirt is basically verticality here. What I'm imagining, and I'm not sure if this is going to work, is basically the four corners are gonna go all the way up and we're gonna have beams across like this on either side. And then in doing that, I will be able to mine out everything else and just have lots of space. Ah, there we go! The quadfecta! <laughs> Alright, I definitely think that it's time to put in some, uh, some mood improvements. I think we're gonna go for furniture in the decorative stru- or the... Where's the Oak Brethren stuff? That's here, right? And that we're going to have a proper shrine soon. Okay. Let's think. Proper shrine and proper library.
the prizes, I stopped feeling bad if they, uh, if they starved to death now. See, Theron, it could be an achievement, and I've just achieved it before because this is not the first run-in I've had with everyone rebelling. <laughs> Oh god. The drinking game would uh would be very lethal, I feel. Although we we might be doing better soon, so maybe not. Or would? I would not survive for very long. I am a lightweight. The lightest of lightweights. Yeah, right, Sully? Like, these people don't realize that we could leave them out in the cold. And for some reason, they just don't like us. Anyways, we're almost at enough dirt for me to make them like their first minor living improve. Uh, okay, dumping. A lone traveler, which isn't nothing, but probably won't give us anything we need. Gonna put another slope in here. And then a wooden beam in here. Okay, so how are we doing this? Alright, I think we're good. I think I got it. Because this floor is going to be different because I'm actually going to have buildings in, which means that I need walls and not just, uh, whatchamacallit. Not, I need walls and not just floors with beams. Because these are great for space, but we can't make a room with them. To do that, I'm going to need two. I need to put floors across either way. Sixty-four sticks. This is actually almost all of our remaining sticks right now. Oh, I can't even go all the way. Down. I need to get to the highest level so that I can put in the the plants up top. All right, and then what I'm imagining is. Beam, soil, beam, once that's ready, okay, I need soil, so let's keep mining. Hexacost just feels like jogging back and forth between mining opportunities. Well, oh, actually, this is the last level.
I need to be careful. I think I've screwed up. I think I've screwed up really badly, actually. I think that I'm not going to be able to do this right because of how and where I built. Actually, I mean, I guess I could just go to the ground level and that would solve everything. Put it. Oh, I've screwed up really badly. I don't have as much dirt as I thought I did. We're down to one tree here. Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring a nice merchant in. What I can do is something like this. I need to use sticks or wood for this, but. It's fine. Just trying to think about what to do. Okay, so now that this is here, we can mine like this. Because I need enough soil to actually build a rooftop garden. And honestly, I might already be out. I might have already used up too much. Okay, there's a rebellion. Uh, I don't. I'm not, like... I will eventually, but I'm not yet comfortable enough with, like, actually having donations and all that sort of stuff on. To, like, I don't feel like I not haven't deserved it, but, like, just don't offer enough necessarily. I want to be a little bit more, like, have a set, not schedule, but content idea, I guess. I just don't think I'm there yet, so I don't really feel comfortable taking them yet. I think that if I hit my groove, which I think that I'm sort of settling into, I think at that point I'll open up, like, channel, ship mem or channel memberships and... Maybe donations, but right now just I feel too amateurish to make money like make real money off of it, if that makes sense. Oh hey, there's raiders. 
Um. Hey, they're cannibals too. Oh God, camera. What are you doing, camera? All right. So they're coming from this direction. So this is why we've sort of kept up a lot of stuff. Which, having said that, actually that's the worst direction for us. How do I do this? <laughs> How is this able to be? What is this hanging on? There's, huh? Oh, it's on this. Okay, in that case, actually, we're okay. We're gonna do. No, oh, but they can't get up there. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of rebellions right now. Um. All right, and then okay. I forgot to... Um, oh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, let's think. I wanted to put a second door in as well. Camera, work with me here, camera. Camera, please. Who's our weakest shooter? 17, 10... Wait, what are- what? They had- they had lines of sight! our door down. Our door is not doing well. Alright, so what we need to do is come here. Shoot this guy. I know that we're getting shot by- God, please. Archers. Oh, my god. Uh, you need to be- I can't set you to not flee. I think we- I think I might have screwed this up. Next, who's Archer? Okay, this is you. Club is a weak weapon for building, and by that I mean it does high building damage. here. Okay, the doors are down. Okay. Um.
only need like one or two more kills. Oh, Quadricross takes a huge hit. Please, no. No. Kill you. Kill you, actually. Okay, Quadricross is unconscious. One different rebellion. I think we just need one more kill. Please kill, please kill, please kill. Let's go! That was so easy! This is so- oh my god, man. Going medieval is just the easy- it wasn't even close! Uh, anyways, so now we have, uh, someone bleeding out. Um, please stop rebelling. <laughs> Alright, see, that was super easy. No, nope. stop running away, please, Pentecost. You can't- you can't leave. Pentecost, why would you want to leave our perfect society? Pentecost, why would you want to leave our perfect society? Alright, um... Let's get a door back in place. I like how Hexacost immediately goes to build or to, to mine and nothing else. After all of that carnage, does not care. Not even a little bit. Alright, Hexacost builds from the wrong direction. That's cool, that's cool. Stay out there, cow. We don't want you in here. God. Okay. Let's take a moment to look at where we are. And by that, I mean let's put in a pyre to burn corpses. Um, deconstruct you. Exactly, it wasn't even close. I mean, I wasn't even like the tiniest bit worried. Um, we're going to... Anyway, um... There's no beam here. I wonder the stability is so bad. Beam is definitely not on stability. Oh, this soil never got finished. Oh, there's something there. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I need to stop trying to move the camera because the camera is just not cooperating. So now if I tell you to... No, okay, so I need to actually... Cancel it. Which breaks things immediately. immediately in the run, but I think we take enough damage during raids that trebuchets aren't going to show up. 
but I thank you for your vote of confidence in this. <laughs> okay, now we should be able to do this. Alright, we're really low on sticks. We're actually gonna stop building with sticks. And instead, as low as I am to do it, start building with a little bit of wood. No, screw that. Um, sticks. This isn't. Why is this ground not stable? This beam isn't counting as a stable structure. Is it because this is... I wonder if it's because this is soil to soil and at least, at least one needs to be an actual uh, wood or something of that nature. Are you... Oh, she's almost, she's almost bled out. Alright, she's fine now. I don't know why anyone was worried. Anyone was worried. So one good thing is that we are going to get some wood- oh, I don't even know if it's going to be enough. Because like we have a good great helm. Yeah, I don't think there's enough here. Enough wood for me to bother. Same with this corpse actually. Gonna... You are the new dumping stockpile. Oh, I can't get rid of this cut now? Like, they're just gonna do this cut? Okay, that's cool. So this is, I think, is just a bug. I think I actually saw this earlier. So that's unfortunate. This is the beeswax that we need to do. Oh, you don't want to? I have way too much stuff. Um... I remember my other limited space playthrough was exactly the same, where you're just sort of shuffling things around from place to place. Uh, this is good. Medicine. Here we go. Okay, wooden wall. sticks. Okay. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and summon a trader. Well, need space! <laughs> need space for everything I want to do. 
Um, we are going to summon a trader using our special trader summoning powers. Uh, there, I don't know if you saw the raid there, and there was a not very close raid that I handled expertly. How much wood we have? How do I want to do this? We're going to use our special trader summoning powers. And the reason for that is that we desperately need uh, more apple saplings. And this is unfortunately what we have to do. Next, oh, I'm just too short on wood again. All right, let's get an oak brother in shrine. That's sort of first priority. There. Now everyone's gonna pray at that. I had to do that earlier, uh, silly, just because, unfortunately, being at the mercy of uh, traders while you wait for trees is just not very fun or interesting. Where is this merchant? Oh, they aren't even coming. Need to... Oh god. Oh god. Uh, camera. Camera, cooperate with me. No one's running this time. Oh, I jinxed it. So what we're gonna do during this, this is actually the smarter way. Just turn off hauling for everyone until they're gone. Hauling is the only thing they want to do outside. Okay. Now the merchant should be coming. Okay, and who is our trader? Pentecost. Oh. Why do you want to idle out there? Why can't you idle in our perfectly good village? Why do you want to idle in? That's close enough. Go barter. Why are they like this now? It takes like 80,000 years. Alright, more apple saplings. We're gonna buy those. So expensive. Negative 360. But unfortunately, we have a little bit of stuff for it. We'll sell our cow. We're gonna buy a research bench. And that's just to literally deconstruct for wood. Well, actually, no. We're gonna actually buy limestone bricks. That's gonna be way more efficient. Because I can turn five of these into a wall. That's way better. Four.
I think that's good. We're getting bricks, which we need to construct stuff, and apple saplings. Alright. So. Move dumping there. Sorry, it's God, it's so hard to talk. And there. <sighs> All we're gonna do for now. So we'll have one spare apple sapling. I was really hoping we'd have just a little bit more wood. Honestly, those oh, those blocks should help a lot too. Go ahead and start putting those in. And so we're gonna do a couple things. One is you. We don't have enough wood for that. This will be our shrine. So friend, they actually stop oh my god. Alright, there we go. Um They basically just idle around slowly starving to death. Go ahead and get back inside. Uh you know, as clean as our last defense was, we don't need someone, so we're gonna say no. And he Hexacost really disliked that. Uh, I have not tried that, Fran, but I would assume so. So the other, if you attack their guards, they'll start attacking you back. Oh, we didn't finish bringing stuff in. And this is going to be... Oh. Oh, I need to put quartz. This is our carcasses. Please stop leaving when you're rebelling. It looks bad. Oh, they don't have hall turned on. That's why. Oops. Seeds. Seed stockpile right there. Alright, 
right, now we lock the door again. Now we're fine. I really wanted 20 more wood. We're not gonna get it, are we? I wanted 20 more wood because then we could finish the actual ch uh, chapel up and sort of have the first thing that we've finished. But it does not look like that is meant to be. Oh, and also they're gonna be starving. They haven't made any food. That's brutal. I see what y'all are doing in chat. Oh, so much honey is outside. Wait, where are these apples? Oh, I don't think we screwed up the harvesting. I think they just ended up spawning out here. Oops. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go get them. I don't even know how to turn on donations. Uh, let's see. Turn on YouTube membership. I'm a little bit busy with this to set those up, but I will look in the setting up membership donations after the stream. Also, God, we have so many books. Why is she sleeping down here? Can she knock it up? Oh, something broke. Oh, we need to finish this. Um, huh. It says it can't reach there, even though they should be able to. I think this is another bug. Like it lets me build off of it, but it won't let me build here, even though they they definitely can reach this, right? Oh, I guess because it's acting as like a portal. Um, okay, let's see. How do I do this then? Let's 
This would not be stability zero. Right? Because there's a thing here. Am I crazy? This pillar should give this a stability of four, which then should translate to this being three and two and being fine. Oh, it's because they can't do this one. Okay, there we go. Oh, but they just won't? Or is Tricos handling it? Okay, no, Tricos is good. Okay, there we go. We're good. <laughs> Y'all are funny. There was never any. Although there is. What? Why? Why did that break? Sometimes I don't understand this game. Oh, that didn't break? Wait. Okay, I understand why that broke. Uh, <clears throat> one more time. All right. That's definitely the last reload. Totally. 100%. Not even slightly worried. Refusing to do this. Uh, and I don't know why. get here right wait he's outside pentecost what are you doing also i just realized i spelled oh pentecost is just not spelled properly or not like penta i mean all right lock lock all right god i'm the best youtuber see this is all this stuff i would edit out if this were a normal video. Like, you would never have seen so much of this. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna allow escape to go get these apple saplings that spawned outside. Actually, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to release this. As, I'm not going to stream the full recording because this is going to take a while. Um, let's see. Uh, so it's going to be interesting when y'all watch this to see how different it is from normal. Or you'll be able to like, I guess, get get the behind the scenes scoop. Oh no. Wait, she's leaving? Her mood shouldn't be that bad. Um Why is she leaving? I guess her mood's zero. But, uh... So you know how literally two minutes ago I was saying that this is the last late reload and that we're not doing that anymore? Um, so about that. 
about that. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this properly this time. So Pentecost, I know you're not there. You get back over here. Oh no. Okay. So Pentecost, you get back inside. All these while you're at it. Oh, of course, the rebellious person goes outside. Okay, so the reason that we had issues is the cook is idle. Or the cook is rebelling, right? Right, because we have barley sticks. We have we have everything we need for it. So why aren't they cooking? Am I just like screwing up horribly here, and I'm just not seeing something really obvious? Okay, what if I allow everything? Okay, we can, we can, oh, she's the one trapped down here. That's why she can't do it. Okay. Okay, now. All right. Um. <clears throat> Anyways, this this colony is obviously perfect. I don't know why anyone would say anything else. Uh, there are no issues in this colony, and you're crazy if you think otherwise. It wasn't obvious, but I was definitely still blind. Why, why are they going outside the locket? See ya, Taryn. I, I'm probably gonna take this all down pretty soon. And, and yeah, I think uh, Kat actually already invited me to Discord. I saw that message, but I'll join and set up memberships after the stream. I think I'm gonna stop the stream pretty soon though. Cause I've been going at it for like three and a half hours now. If I tell you to lock it from this side. Oh, why are they locking it from outside? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, now lock the door. And then now, see again, this is like the little stuff, like the little sort of, sort of, sort of maybe bug fixes that would get cut out. And nothing ever happened. Take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend.
Yeah, ex exactly. Everything, all those problems, that actually wasn't me. That was a, a, a very sneaky rebellion that we have since solved. Alright, so now we've got our apples planted. Let's see. It's gonna be a while before these are ready to be chopped. This oak tree might make it to full yield in time for the winter. I'll set it. it should be ready by the time you're ready tomorrow unless it I know like so I originally planned to stream this yesterday But YouTube makes you wait 24 hours after you try to stream to actually start So unless there's something like that, it'll be available when you uh, wake up And thank you all for for offering to do that and then bullying me into it Yes, I think I think we're gonna end the stream once the shrine is ready We can get a lot more dirt too, which will be nice. Right, I think we're. Um. I kind of want to pause research because I'm literally running out of space to store all these books until I have more wood. But what I might do instead is just spawn another trader to get a little bit more wood and then I can actually do the shrine because otherwise I don't think it's going to be ready before winter and this stream is getting long let's see I need I'm going to get rid of this eventually but I can afford that for now to make it a room and then I need 20 wood for the actual decorations. So uh, we're gonna spawn in one more trader. And uh, you know, this is just, a, a, the holy site that we're guarding is fantastic for uh, traders. You can just set a signal fire that we definitely set and they will just swarm. Okay, Quadricross is gonna leave because the first thing she does when oh no, never mind. It's the second thing she does. She went over here for a little. Let me just set this up. We have enough food now. It's long for me because I am not used to this. <laughs> Also, I do need to go into work at some point this afternoon. Not for long, but for a little bit. We actually, I would like more apple saplings, but we can't use them yet. Instead, we're gonna sell all of our beeswax. Iron ingots. We will need those eventually, but not yet. We're gonna buy a cartography table. I think that's it. And we'll just sell however many books we need. It's like negative two. Oh, you two. Forty-two. That's what I said the first time. 
Yeah, it is 3 p.m. for me, so... I was basically doing some art for a banner for my new- I want a new Twitter and YouTube banner. And I was doing art for that all morning, and then setting up this stream, and then now I need to go into work. Wait, what? Uh, we're gonna do five. Yeah, fifty. That's gonna be another forty. All right, there we go. So now we'll put down a cartography table. Oh my god. Okay. Oh nice. I guess I'll show a sneak preview of what I got. I think I'm almost ready, but it's just not quite there. Please leave me. Okay, nope. The merchant doesn't want to leave. Alright. For rebellion, please leave merchant. Please lock this quickly, Codger cost. No! Exa cost. Alright, then we remove this. Deconstruct, not remove. Uh, no, no, I was literally... I actually... Okay, I really like how I worked it into the banner. Um, it is just going to be the... It is just going to be the... Like, the YouTube banner and the Twitter banner. Because it's... I'm not just doing Going Medieval, and they're not very good either way. Okay, so we deconstruct... Default. And there's the wood. For two oak brother interactions. Alright, lock the door properly, seal out the intruders. And there's the temple. All right, let's go. All right, I do think I'm gonna pause it there or end that uh, end the place. Let's see, that is um, end of stream, and then I'll play through the rest of that on my own to do it. Okay, hold on, let me figure out how to do this, how to display this properly without doxing myself or anything like that. Actually, wait, this I should have GIMP open, right? Uh, you. All right. Let me just figure out how to add this. Uh, not display capture, window capture. Jump. All right. There we go. That should be displaying it now. I think. Hopefully, maybe. Um. And yeah, basically, I like the everything but the city skyline. I think that it needs that. It needs something in the foreground. And I like the idea of the city skyline, but I just don't think it's executed well, and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm going to play around with that. And yeah, I use OBS. 
I used to use Shadow Play, but my new computer can actually handle OBS, so I use OBS. And I, I like, I sort of love how I work the heart into it with it's on the mountainside. Yeah, I just need to fix this. I, I, I'm not a good enough artist to detail this. And I don't know how to else to make it look better. So I'm going to play around with that with some gradients with maybe some light detailing to see if that works. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll go up soon. I thought about that. So actually, originally, the skyline was a lot smaller, uh, but it just didn't look very good. I have never once had a settler die, so I'm not sure why you think that these settlers have been sacrificed. So yeah, hopefully that and memberships soon. I think I'm going to work on that for the rest of the afternoon after I go to like my actual job to do actual work. But yeah. I spent way too long. Oh my god, these mountains took me way too long. So full disclosure, I was working off of a style of, I think I actually have it here, a style uh, like this image. And so I like, I, I saw the, sort of how it does the shapes and played around with that to sort of make my own uh, very similarly styled piece, I think. Um, and I think that it came out really well, but it took so long. Uh, but yeah. I just need to figure out how to do the city well, and then I'll upload it, and yeah. Excuse you. Yeah, the mountains, I think, came out so well. Which, again, to be fair, 100... Well, actually, let me, let me get this artist. Uh, where is this? This was... No, minimalism. I'm gonna put their link in the chat of just like sort of staring at this as I did it. All right, this is the actual artist that did this original piece that I sort of, uh, that sun? Yeah, okay. That I sort of was staring at the entire time I was looking. And their, their landscapes are amazing. Like, just look at some of that art. It's insane. Okay, but that that's, like, I feel like it doesn't count if you're using someone else's style and sort of just emulating it. Like, they do it a hundred times better and it looks way better. But, like, I feel like it doesn't count to sort of use their style. Yeah, their stuff's amazing. Honestly, if I was going to get, like, a full commission... I would probably try to get it from them, but they're with like an actual company. So I don't think that they would do a commission for a, uh, for something like this. All right. I think that we're going to go ahead and call it there, but this has been so much fun. So I think that I'm not going to do this every time. I sort of just wanted to try this, see how it works because when the next update comes out, which we don't know the exact timeline, but I think we'll be in about two ish weeks just based off of when they, uh, as long as when they, or just have, have previously done going to the experimental branch. So in about two weeks, I'm going to do my update six playthrough, which is going to be like the going medieval tale full series. And I think that's going to be amazing. And so I'm going to stream the first part of that. Like I did this, but other than that, you should see this video in hopefully a week and a half to two weeks. And then that I want to do another farthest frontier run or a tip or not a tip a guide video on that and yeah so look forward to it thank you all so much for this it's been a lot of fun hope you all have a good rest of the weekend and a good week